Dear friends, in this video, we will discuss about skills required for selection and procurement of construction plant and machinery. This is in continuation of my video, Skills Required for Construction Plant and Machinery Management. Equipment selection and procurement is a critical part of construction plant and equipment management. It is the process of selecting, analyzing, and purchasing the appropriate equipment for a construction project based on specific project requirements and restrictions. The purpose is to guarantee that the equipment chosen is appropriate for the project's requirements, cost-effective, and capable of completing the needed duties efficiently. The equipment selection and procurement process typically involves the following steps. A. Analyze project requirements. B. Evaluation of equipment requirements. C. Evaluation of equipment options. D. Cost evaluation. E. Productivity and performance of equipment. F. Availability of equipment and lead time. G. Standards for equipment and compliance. H. Procurement techniques. I. Evaluation and selection of suppliers. J. Contract negotiations. Now, in brief, we will explore various skill sets required for selection and procurement of construction plant and machinery. A. Analyze project requirements. This process entails understanding the project requirements, which include the scope, scheduling, budget, and specific equipment requirements. It also requires assessing the site conditions, environmental variables, and any regulatory requirements that may influence equipment selection. 1. Project scope. 2. Work schedule and timeline. 3. Budget constraints. 4. Site conditions. 5. five task requirements. 6. Safety regulations and compliance. 7. Environmental impact. 8. Project constraints. 9. Project duration and equipment utilization. 10. Future project requirements. Construction professionals may make informed judgments about equipment selection and procurement by thoroughly analyzing these project requirements, resulting in enhanced project results and successful equipment management. B. Evaluation of Equipment Requirements Based on the project assessment, a list of required equipment is generated. Heavy machinery, vehicles, tools, and other specialized equipment required for diverse construction projects may be included. Here are some additional details on how to conduct a thorough evaluation. 1. Task Analysis 2. Equipment Performance 3. Equipment Compatibility 4. Equipment Availability 5. Equipment Lifespan and Depreciation 6. Operator Skills and Training 7. Cost Analysis 8. Regulatory Compliance 9. Feedback and References By conducting a comprehensive evaluation of equipment requirements, construction project managers can make informed decisions about the equipment that best aligns with the project needs, ensuring efficient and successful execution of construction tasks. C. Evaluation of Equipment Options the equipment options that have been identified are evaluated based on their technical specifications, performance capabilities, and compatibility with the project requirements. During this examination, factors such as equipment capacity, power, fuel efficiency, reliability, and maintenance requirements are taken into account. Here are some more specifics on how to perform a thorough evaluation. 1. Technical specifications. 2. Performance capabilities. 3. Equipment suitability. 4. Maintenance and durability. 5. Safety Features 6. Cost Analysis 7. Supplier Evaluation 8. Reference Checks 9. Future Scalability and Flexibility By conducting a detailed evaluation of equipment options, construction project managers can select the most suitable equipment that aligns with the project requirements, enhances productivity, and delivers successful project outcomes. D. Cost Evaluation the cost of equipment is calculated, considering purchase or leasing costs, operating and maintenance expenses, and possible resale value. A life cycle cost analysis can be performed to determine the overall cost of ownership over the life of the equipment, taking into account elements such as acquisition cost, operating costs, and disposal costs. Here are some more details on equipment cost estimation. 1. Acquisition cost. 2. Operating costs. 3. Resale value. 4. Life cycle cost analysis. 5. Financing Options 6. Productivity and Efficiency 7. Downtime and Maintenance 8. Warranty and Support 9. Energy Efficiency and Sustainability 10. Risk Assessment By conducting a detailed cost evaluation that encompasses both upfront and long-term costs, construction project managers can make informed decisions about equipment selection, optimizing project budgets and ensuring cost-effective operations throughout the project life cycle. E. Productivity and Performance of Equipment 
it is critical to evaluate numerous elements that can impact operational efficiency and effectiveness when evaluating the productivity and performance of equipment alternatives for building projects. More information on evaluating equipment productivity and performance can be found here. 1. Task-specific capabilities 2. Speed and cycle times 3. Capacity and throughput 4. Fuel efficiency and consumption 5. Reliability and uptime 6. Operator comfort and ergonomics 7. Automation and technology integration 8. Maintenance and serviceability 9. Training and operator proficiency 10. Feedback and references By thoroughly evaluating the productivity and performance in performance of equipment options, construction project managers can choose equipment that maximizes operational efficiency, meets project timelines, and contributes to overall project success. F. Availability of equipment and lead time When assessing the availability of equipment and the lead time for building projects, it is critical to consider elements that may influence the procurement or leasing process. More information on determining equipment availability and lead time can be found here. 1. Equipment suppliers 2. Equipment inventory 3. Procurement or rental-led time 4. Project planning and execution 5. Communication with suppliers 6. Equipment alternatives 7. Contractual agreements 8. Backup equipment arrangements 9. Project coordination and collaboration 10. Monitoring and proactive management By carefully assessing equipment availability and lead time, construction project managers can ensure timely procurement or rental of equipment, minimizing delays and ensuring smooth project execution. G. Standards for Equipment and Compliance Construction sector equipment and compliance standards are created to assure safety, quality, and regulatory conformance. More information on equipment standards and compliance considerations can be found here. 1. Safety Standards 2. Environmental Regulations 3. Industry-specific standards 4. Quality standards 5. Certification and conformity assessment 6. Maintenance and inspection standards 7. Operator training and certification 8. Documentation and record keeping 9. Regulatory compliance monitoring 10. Industry best practices by considering and adhering to equipment standards and compliance requirements, construction project managers can ensure the safety, quality, and regulatory compliance of the equipment used, promoting a successful and compliant construction operation. H. Procurement Techniques The procurement process begins when the equipment alternatives and suppliers have been examined. Preparing and sending requests for proposals, RFPs, or tenders, analyzing the submitted proposals, negotiating contracts, and finalizing the purchase or rental agreements are all part of this process. We must employ several methods and strategies to ensure the efficient and cost-effective purchasing of equipment. More information on equipment acquisition procedures can be found here. 1. Purchase from authorized dealers. 2. Request for proposals, RFP. 3. Equipment leasing or renting. 4. Auctions and second-hand equipment. 5. Framework agreements. 6. Equipment pooling or sharing. 7. Equipment financing. 8. Requalified supplier lists. 9. Collaborative Procurement 10. Equipment Maintenance and Service Agreements By employing effective equipment procurement techniques, construction project managers can acquire the necessary equipment efficiently, optimize costs, and ensure access to high-quality, reliable equipment that meets project requirements. I. Evaluation and Selection of Suppliers Potential equipment suppliers or vendors are evaluated based on their reputation, track record, after-sales service and support, warranty terms, and overall reliability. This process ensures that the chosen suppliers can offer quality equipment and meet the project's requirements. More information on the elements to consider while assessing equipment providers may be found below. 1. Experience and Reputation 2. Equipment Selection and Availability 3. Equipment Quality 4. Technical Assistance and Service 5. Financial Stability 6. Compliance with Regulations and Standards 7. Delivery and Logistics Capabilities 8. Pricing and Contractual Terms 9. References and Customer Feedback 10. Sustainable and Ethical Practices By thoroughly evaluating equipment suppliers based on these factors, construction project managers can make informed decisions and select reliable and capable suppliers who can meet project requirements effectively. J. Contract Negotiations Contractual negotiation for equipment is critical in obtaining favorable terms and conditions for equipment procurement in construction projects. 
More information on the essential factors to consider during equipment contractual negotiations can be found below. 1. Scope of work. 2. Pricing and terms of payment. 3. Equipment delivery and return. 4. Equipment maintenance and support. 5. Insurance and liability. 6. Equipment performance guarantees. 7. Termination and dispute resolution. 8. Confidentiality and intellectual property. 9. Change orders and variants. 10. Legislation and Jurisdiction During the negotiation process, it is important to maintain open communication, clearly express expectations, and seek mutually beneficial outcomes. A well-drafted and comprehensive contract helps mitigate risks, enhances clarity, and establishes a solid foundation for a successful equipment procurement arrangement. Friends, we discussed the skills required for selection and procurement of construction plant and machinery, and we must acknowledge that if we are not aware of our comprehensive skill set required for selection and procurement of construction plant and machinery, we will be unable to make sound decisions. These sections provide a thorough examination of the critical variables involved in correctly handling construction plant and machinery. In a subsequent video, we will go through each sub-talent in detail. If you require a PDF version of the message discussed in this video, kindly leave your name, phone number, and email in the comment box. We will communicate via WhatsApp or email. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel Inframechanizer, which is completely free.